Hey, what's up folks? Joey Kissimmee here with IncomePress.com and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to choose the WordPress theme for my DIY niche uh, that's going to help me stand out from uh, the crowd, from my competition and from everyone else out there in, in my niche, right? Or in the DIY niche. And I'm going to be using Studio Press to do this. And mainly the reason I'm doing this is because I've been with Studio Press forever. I love them to death. And, uh, you know, they've really got a ton of unique designs. As you can see, I'm right here on the home page. And they just got a ton of, of custom designs that really helps you, you know, like stand out from the rest of the competition. And I've been using this forever. Okay, a lot of people think that, you know, my my WordPress themes are like customized where I got them at. They asked me all this stuff and I'm like, dude, I get them right here. I mean, look at this, this one here. I don't know if, how long you've been with me at IncomePress.com, but this is a, a theme from Studio Press that I used there for about a year and it worked tremendously. And then I actually went and designed my very own custom, but that was like after a year, okay? After building the blog, you really don't want to spend a ton of money on customizing a WordPress theme like only like that's the only one that you have and no one else has because it could cost you like two three thousand dollars or more so you want to use something like this a service like studio press because they have a variety from you to choose from okay and it really helps you separate yourselves from your competition now these are paid themes okay uh they're they're not free and the, yes there are free ones out there that you can choose a lot of them but here's the thing the thing with free is that a lot of people have them okay a lot more people have them than the ones who have these okay yes there will be some other people that have these same themes here but remember these are paid so they're fewer and in my niche, there was only one person that was using this uh, generate theme. And I'm talking about the internet marketing niche, the how to make money niche. There was only one other person that was using this, and uh, which was Frank Kern. Okay, he was the only one using this. Well, I don't know if he's still using it till this day. But there was only me and him using this particular theme. Okay, so I'll get a little bit deeper to which one I chose for this one. But first, I want to go ahead and dig into the my competition to see what they got going okay and i'm gonna show you how i'm gonna do that so let's go back to uh the good old uh evil empire here google okay now when i'm spying on my competition here all right when i'm choosing uh, a theme to go with especially okay i actually go in here and search like if i was the actual person like if i was just a regular old guy coming in here and searching for something and how to do something so my niche is in the diy niche that's what my blog is about right so i'm gonna go in here and just do something like right here just you know how to how to lay tile floors okay and what i would do is just scroll down and look at some of the guys out there some of the heavy hitters not really like lowes.com i wouldn't go there i mean that that's just that's just way too you know i'm, I'm talking about the guys like in my niche look like the diy network okay so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and open up another another tab and just keep it there i'll open them like five six seven of them and only on the first page guys i don't go like two three years just only on the first page okay this whole house nah, i wouldn't do that one no youtube videos no youtube videos home depot definitely not family handyman i'll definitely do that one so i'll open up another one there diy diva i'll do that one okay so if there's only a few there then i'll go in here again and i'll uh i don't know i'll do something like how to install kitchen cabinets okay i'll do that one there and i'll do the same thing i'll scroll down and wiki help definitely not i mean you don't want nothing like that family handyman here's the same one diy the same one diy network so you can see pretty much the same people are here uh, home tips that's a pretty good one i'll go ahead and open that one up so i'll go ahead and do that till i got about like six or seven different websites so i want to look for heavy hitters like that and then i also want to look i may go to page two or three to see some of the low ones though some of the low ballers out there that aren't that popular just to see what they got going okay someone that's not as a heavy hitter as like family handyman or diy network some of those bigger guys some of the guys that are like on like what i'm doing you know just starting out or just trying to build their site because i want to see what they got going 
So now that I got a few of them open, I already have some open here just for the sake of time here. And once I go in there, I'm, I want to go to the home page. All right, so I just go ahead and click on the home page and actually see what their home page looks like. Okay, and I do that for all the sites. I really don't go in into the actual article until I start writing articles. And I'll leave that for another video just to show you how I do the difference between my articles and their articles. Okay. Now, what I look for here in the home page is what I got going here, you know, and in a previous video, I can't remember which one, but I, I, I mentioned that a lot of the DIY sites, right? A lot of the DIY sites are messy. They just try to cover everything in one thing, right? They try to cover all types of topics. So if I'm a DIYer, and I go in here and I happen to land here and I want to go search on something else. I mean, look at just all the crap they got here. There's really no organization here that uh, organization <laughs> platform here where I could easily find something. You know, it's just real messy. I just looking at this, just get, I get lost. There's a lot of advertising here going on. There's just too many tabs. There's, I mean, you could see, I'm scrolling up and down here. You could see that even though it looks somewhat organized, but really it's not, it's just really messy. There's, it's too congested. That's, I think that's the right word. It's just too congested. There's too much going on in, in very little space. Okay. So as you can see, I mean, if, there's just too many things there's they really these sites like this they're more of a they go for the mass appeal they don't really go micro niche like what i'm doing i'm going for the micro 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 niche these guys i mean really they, they're just too much I, i'm just gonna go ahead and pretty much leave and go back to google and try to find another website so i go find another website i say diy network and yet everyone knows the diy network right the channel they cover everything but again look it's just a lot going on just just too many things i mean look at this way too much stuff way too much stuff going on around and you know that's not what my blog is going to be about my blog is really more of a micro niche for the little diyers just trying to do something real quick over the weekend right there's just a lot going on here this is more of a high level type of diyer here that's got money to spend like crazy like, oh, look at this you know create a zen garden and landscape you know how much money you're gonna spend on that it's crazy you know another diy uh, uh, uh website is doityourself.com you know a little bit more uh, focused like you know a bit a little bit more organized i should say you know so a little bit better but then you get down here look at this you know this, you know how to fix a leaky faucet that's fine but look at these these little things here there's too many good things going on why do you need to have that you know there's no pictures there a lot of people look for especially diyers they look for pictures okay there's just too many things going on here too many little things that shouldn't be there okay so yeah a lot of stuff and again you go keep scrolling now look at all this crazy stuff it's just a lot going on a lot all right so now we looked at some of the heavy hitters we see that there's just too many things going on so now that i'm, I'm right here just writing down notes on my notepad just seeing some of the things that they got going you know too many ads like look at this guy just front street big ad you know people just hate to be sold to right so that just lets you know too many stuff too many stuff going around uh, let's go to this first one too crampy so I'm, I'm just writing these notes down so that way it'll help me when i'm looking for my theme my wordpress theme it could help me with with what choosing mine okay now let's look at some of the lower guys that aren't that heavy that much of a heavy hitters right now look at this this is we're chomping time.com right they're using just a regular old uh wordpress theme i think it's the the default one i believe this looks like it you know but again, it's really not organized. It's just a traditional blog post, you know? And this guy's actually got some good tutorials. He's actually really, really good. But it's just uh, just a blog role, just a traditional blog thing, you know? Which is okay. But, you know, look, I'm, I'm still scrolling. I'm still scrolling and still to, you know, it, it's really not, people don't want to scroll. They want to have everything up top here and really just keep everything. You know, he's got archives. But that's pretty much it you know and i follow this guy i've been following him for several years and i know he's got some real good stuff so if he would just organize some of the stuff make it easier for me to find then you know it, it, he'll probably get a lot more traction a lot more you know 
uh, stuff on, on, on his site. And people, he probably got a high bounce rate. Now let's look at another guy that I found here. This is just a recent one that I found, and he's also got some pretty good videos. But look at that site; it's horrendous. You know, it's just awful. I mean, and this is not a WordPress site. I could tell you, this is one of those older ones. This is probably a just a straight up HTML PHP website. I don't even know what it is, but it's just a lot of stuff going on. You know what I mean? He's got a pretty good thing here, a, a YouTube role going on here, but again really hard to see stuff to look for stuff you know i'm looking for more organized type of things you know so there you have it right so that's the stuff you know you want to look at some of the heavy hitters in your market and then you want to look at some of the guys that are sort of like in your level where it's just starting out that has a little bit of traction going but look at what they got and then just do the opposite you know what i mean just do the complete opposite just uh, go different you know obviously the heavy hitters these guys got the most the majority of the audience so you know try to stay a little bit um familiar with them but make it less a lot less and make it more of a micro type of niche so for example mine's is just the diyers a simple diyers that wants to do stuff over the weekend so let's go to over to studio press all right and as you, you know, I already rolled through here. You just go through and just choose which one. And I have, uh, I remember three years ago, four years ago, I can't remember. I had bought the full package where I just buy a lifetime deal. I don't know if they have it right now. Again, I really don't. I should have probably researched that for you. But, you know, I have the lifetime deal, which means I get any unlimited, uh, you know, DIY thing or not DIY, but any un unlimited themes that I could use and I could want. Uh, I ever want so I, you know I, I believe they still have that um, I'll, I'll have it down there below the video and I'll let you know for sure but anyways right here I almost went with this magazine theme um, but I, I didn't like quite like it I almost went with this metro theme but again a little bit too too much I actually like this one here this news theme okay and I'll tell you why here in a bit and that's the only one let me just go ahead and scroll right to it okay let me tell you why I like this one okay and why I chose the news theme all right number one when you look at it okay it's sort of familiar if I'm a DIY obviously I've been going to these other websites I'm familiar to how they look and all that stuff this is almost sort of the same right but a little bit more organized as you can see okay you got the name up here you've got some of the tabs up here i probably won't have as much of this okay and i definitely won't have all this stuff up here okay but look at this it's a little bit more organized you've got entertainment you've got fashion politics you see it's all the latest posts on that particular category it's not messy it's not all congested so in my case it would probably be you know diy tips here then the next one would be men's cave or man cave right the next one would be uh, home repair you know the next one would be home improvement okay so you see how i could easily organize the topics or the categories you see very easily it looks pretty you know there's not a lot going on it shows the latest uh blog post in that particular category down here an easily viewable search button where they could search your a blog if you have like hundreds of posts right you've got simple advertising just one block of advertising here you don't got crazy stuff going on all right um right here more headlines more podcasts i'm going to be doing a podcast on on this diy niche so right here could be featured podcasts all the, the latest podcast episode the headlines today's latest blog post from today let's say i just published one today this could be one here featuring the latest post then down here could be a, a, a blog roll of like the last five or ten blog posts in any category that just been published so you, you see how more organized this blog theme is it's beautiful there's not a lot going on you know it's easily organized if a particular person is looking comes in here from anything they could go into the home page they could find uh, a, a tab here that says uh, diy tips they could go in there okay and see what the latest diy tips is they go right here let's say this fashion one is on a man caves 
they could go in there and see what whatever I got going on the topic of man caves and the same thing with home improvement so as you can see it's more organized and then that's what I'm looking for okay obviously this up here is you know space for advertising but I won't be doing any of that stuff they'll be only doing like one block of advertising here on this on the sidebar that's about it but I'll talk about more on that when it comes to the advertising stuff on another video okay because I have actually got some advertising tactics that has worked with me on other niches that I'll be using with this one because these other niche sites you go into any post it's just crazy advertising everywhere pop-ups and all that stuff you really don't want that okay but um, that's pretty much it guys uh, on this this is the theme that I decided to go with because of you know the reasons that I just told you and I think it'll work out I think it'll work out really really well for me especially since I'm going really micro with this for the DIYers so just doing something simple over the weekend and uh, and all that stuff and in another video I'll cover what exactly I did with my studio press theme and the theme that I chose and how I organized everything and uh, let you know about it okay so um, with that said hope you enjoyed this uh, this video tutorial here and these little tactics on spying on the competition and choosing the right theme for you. Joy Kasimi, peace, I'm free, and I'll see you on the next.